YouTube, Ken Hill here for Gun Scare and Freedom. Sorry about that. I know I'm not supposed to point the gun at the cameraman, but <laughs> it's all right. We don't have a cameraman. We just got a tripod. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to review a a uh, <laughs> a nine millimeter Ruger. This is an SR9 pistol. I'm going to review for you guys. Uh, pretty nice unit. I really must say, I really like it. Uh, there are some things with it that are different than some of the other guns, but no, seriously, today uh, we're going to review the Ruger SR9 9mm pistol. It's pretty nice. Alright guys, let's get started with this review. Uh, today, this Ruger, it comes with uh, basically a hard case shell, uh, kind of like the last pistol review I did where it had a, a suitcase thing. This one's much smaller than that. Um, and the price tag is still on here, and I don't know if you can see uh, that price tag or not, but uh, that's what the pistol was worth brand new apparently. Um, but uh, anyway, moving on, we'll open this puppy up, and uh, we have uh, basically the, the gun comes with its documentation, which you can see there's a book and uh, some NRA flyers, stuff like that, uh, yeah, more or less, uh, and then the receipt and everything else is in here, wow, uh, cool, but uh, nonetheless, the gun comes with the documentation, uh, looks like it comes with a couple spare magazines, uh, these magazines, they hold, I believe it's 17 rounds, uh, of course, they have them loaded with a full metal jacket and uh, hollow points, so, uh, looks like they do a little bit of target shooting, a little bit of uh, protection. Um, but anyway, this comes with uh, what looks like a speed loader, I think. Let me make sure that's what that is. Uh, yeah, a speed loader basically slips over the magazine and depresses the bullet down into the magazine to make it easier to put the next bullet in. So that comes with one of those. Might be kind of handy for the weak fingered people that can't load magazines. <laughs> and uh, then we'll move on to the pistol. Um, this here's the Ruger SR9. Uh, it comes with a fairly nice grip. I don't know if you can see it's got a textured grip on there. Uh, it's got an ambidextrous uh, magazine release button on both sides so you can hit it with this finger or you can hit it with this finger uh, and release the magazine. Um, thumb safety up is uh, safe and down is fire. And uh, the gun is just so we all are aware is uh, empty and I checked it before I even started this review so uh, anyway um, this gun has a couple neat features I'm going to show you um, we're going to start with the sights um, I love the sights on this gun uh, they're much better sights on this gun than on my Springfield um, they're more accurate in my opinion um, I can't really see them that well but uh, trying to line up the sight picture for you. Uh, they're very accurate. Uh, it's a real, real nice sight picture when you can get one. <laughs> and uh, the sights are a lot more uh, sharper on this particular gun than on my Springfield. Um, but the cool thing with this one is uh, this one has screws for elevation, uh, windage adjustments, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and my Springfield does not. So this is uh, kind of a better thing in my opinion. Uh, and then for this particular gun, if you insert um, a magazine, yes, I know it's loaded, so I'll be extremely careful. Uh, and then if you rack the slide, uh, there's a round in there. And this has a round indicator right here, just like the Springfield does, only this one's much more pronounced. And I believe it says, um, it says loaded when up. So I don't know if you guys can read that, but yeah, loaded when up. So now I'm going to go ahead and eject the magazine out. And I'm going to take the round out. Now it's empty. And uh, this that's one of the features of the gun. The other feature of this gun is uh, that it actually has a safety. My last uh, review with the uh, Springfield XDM, it did not have a uh, safety. The only safety it had was the one uh, right here. And then it had the type of trigger like this does, where it's a double trigger. It's actually a trigger inside of a trigger. They both got to be depressed in order to fire. Um, one thing I'd like to add about this uh, pistol is that the trigger has a very crisp break on it. I love that. Uh, the reset is uh, 
fairly decent on it. I mean, I'll have to show that in the range time review part of this uh, review, but uh, basically this trigger has a really crisp break. I mean, it's just really sharp when it goes. I uh, love that about that. So, uh, yeah, some other shooters may find that uh, little bit of information extremely useful. Um, the next thing with this gun, it has um, what appears to be a striker indicator right down in there, um, and when you fire it, disappears so uh, I guess that's the cocking indicator so you can uh, when it's cocked it has the little button sticking up when you fire it the button disappears obviously and it's uncocked so that is the cocking indicator uh, other little features with this gun um, it's kind of a pain in the butt actually to take this thing apart and clean it um, it has this little thing right here you got to push it in uh, once this once your slides locked back there's actually a a little thing in here that you have to push down it's that thing right there and uh otherwise it won't come apart uh very pain in the butt thing uh this is really hard to drive out i use a pencil and it'll pop out and come apart but very hard to do i'll cover it in another video uh, showing how to clean this particular weapon uh but uh this gun does shoot very nicely uh it might shoot um possibly better than uh than my springfield maybe uh, I like the sights better on it, so maybe that's why. Uh, but I will save that uh, range time video for another video. I uh, can't give it all away in one video. So, uh, But that is pretty much this gun. It's really simple, easy to operate. It's got some serrations right here uh, to make it easy to you know, rack the slide. Um, and uh, it is a pretty decent little gun. There is a Picatinny rail right here for tactical flashlights, lasers, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if, if you guys uh, ever want to pick up one of these, they're, they're not too bad. They've got little uh, ribs here. I mean, just good design all over. Uh, Ruger makes pretty decent uh, pistols, though, I do um, say so. You'll have to watch the uh, range time review if you want to see it fire. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please comment. Uh, obviously, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, share the videos. Thanks for joining me for this review. Uh, don't forget, this weekend I'm going to try to blow up that dryer. Mm -hmm. That should be awesome. So I uh, hope you're there to see that video. Anyways, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you soon.